Obama gave his recent speech um, uh, towards the Middle East. Uh, he didn't mention Saudi Arabia. Uh, Saudi Arabia barely uh, just came up in your, dis only in terms of fighting Al Qaeda, did, did come up in your discussion just now with Christian Amin Four. Um, is the lack of discussion of um, uh, meaningful democracy in places like Saudi Arabia uh, an example of what's been called the, the Mwashar Doctrine? Um, uh, that that uh, uh, don't worry, everything, am I getting this right? Don't worry, everything is all right. It's been coined by Chomsky, attributed to you. Um, what, what, what's, well, what's the I, status I, of, why, why this incredible blind spot? Can, can the U.S. have meaningful credibility? We've seen different uh, reactions to the crisis in different Arab countries. Uh, some of them, uh, uh, such as in the Gulf, try, uh, you know, are trying to react to this through economic, financial means. And uh, you know, what I believe is that this is a political issue. This is an issue about the low level of governance that exists in many Arab countries and that people are not going to basically accept uh, uh, a solution that is purely economic. Uh, there is a need to address uh, this through a serious opening up of the system, a serious reform process. Uh, for the United States, obviously, uh, that uh, you know, which has followed, followed a policy of prioritizing uh, stability over democracy for many decades, uh, uh, switching to a policy that uh, pursues stability through reform rather than stability over reform, is not proving to be a very uh, uh, easy process. Uh, as we have seen in the relationship between the Saudis and the U.S. There are interests that are still involved. Uh, there is the issue of oil, the issue of Iran as well. And uh, 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 you're going to find uh, more cases in the future, I think, where the issue of interest will still uh, probably, at least in the short run, uh, uh, be prioritized over the issue of reform. Um, as you know, there were protests by Palestinian refugee today, and an international flotilla of, sh of ships is headed to Gaza in June to protest the Israeli blockade. New York Times reported this week that this flotilla will include an American ship, the Audacity of Hope, 25% of the passengers of which are Jewish. Um, the Israeli government has vowed to stop the flotilla by any means. What's your view of the flotilla, the threatened Israeli response, and should the United States attempt to ensure that the I think there's the flotilla? A there's a feeling of empowerment uh, uh, in the Arab street today that uh, is finding its way to the Palestinian street. In other words, the feeling of powerlessness which has permeated in the Arab world for so long is no longer there. And I think that the Palestinian street will not stay silent if there are no sort of serious moves to uh, end the Arab-Israeli conflict. I expect, uh, uh, frankly, more of uh, these moves to take place, particularly after September, when the issue of uh, uh, you know, recognizing the Palestinian state will go before the United Nations. And I think there's a new feeling in the Arab world uh, that is shifting from a feeling that the United States uh, uh, needs to, you know, holds all the cards and needs to resolve the conflict, something that I agree with. I think you're seeing a shift towards a feeling that the street can affect peaceful change in a way that has not uh, been done before. Uh, final question. American politicians often brag about Israel being the only democracy in the Middle East and this talk about their shared values and unshakable commitment. Absent such assertions in dealing with Jordan or referring to Jordan, is it because of uh, the absence of constitutional democracy or for other reasons? Well, Jordan is a case where actually uh, the monarchy enjoys wide legitimacy unlike, uh, you know, some of the other countries that we have seen. Uh, there is no uh, one in the opposition today in Jordan uh, uh, calling for the overthrow of the monarchy. What uh, is being called for is a reform of the system, uh, uh, including sometimes some of the monarchy's uh, uh, authority. And I think that in places in Jordan uh, which does enjoy time, uh, you know, the hope is that this time will be invested in a serious reform process. Uh, Jordan has taken some moves towards opening up the system. Uh, and, uh, you know, uh, the hope that they will continue with such moves. I think the measure of seriousness that people are looking for, not just in Jordan but across the Arab world, is a process that leads to power sharing and to stronger legislative and judicial bodies, a process, in other words, that would dilute the dominant executive power that today exists in the Arab world.